get your results! Ha! Uh, uh, uh. interested in your job, Fink. Now, now, I know all about your little job for Fitzroy. But do you really want to take her offer over mine? Do you know how many people would kill to be head of Fink Security? <laughs> You're a tough nut to crack, Mr. DeWitt. A tough nut. <laughs> but I promise you this. I will get what I want. Found some money. Take it. Formula Wonder. Prime Mystery. There's a door over here. I think that's the way down. before I'm interested in one like you. Demonstrate the folly of men striking, throwing down tools. You hurt people. I'll tell you this. Sometimes there's precious need for folks like Fitzroy. Why? Because of folks like me. Done. Ciphers. No. Let's keep an eye out. Tell us what you know about Fitzroy, you goddamn gook. We know you can hear us. You want to say something? Three more to bring in tonight. Oh, was 
Who's there? Ain't no privies down here. To tax the black more than the white, is that not cruel? To forbid the mixing of the races, is that not cruel? To give the vote what to the white... What people have done to deserve to be locked up in a place like this? Fink don't need much of a reason. No. No, he doesn't. Is it not cruel to banish your children from a perfect garden? Or drown your flock under an ocean of water? Cruelty can be instructive. And what is Columbia? If not the schoolhouse of the Lord. Take a look at this. Looks simple enough. This is it, isn't it? Yep. Number nine. All yours. Do it? You're a lion. But you can't blame me for looking after my own interests, can you? Now I know Fitzroy has come calling. But I think you'll find your business with her has come to an end. <laughs> lions walk with lions, do it? Not hyenas! Now we need to find someone else to make those guns. No. Dead is dead, Elizabeth. Dead is dead. What? How the hell did... I see heads. And I see tails. It's all a matter of perspective. Why are you following us? Who sent you? Comstock? What do you want? What do you see here? From this angle. Dead. Listen. And that angle? Alive. Walker. Shen Lin. Why is God? Another Columbia. A different Columbia. The same coin. A different perspective. Heads. Tails. Dead. Alive. We have to go through. To this other Columbia, but... How? It's like riding a bicycle. You never really forget. One just needs the courage to climb aboard. If we go into this tear, I don't think I'll be able to bring us back. Are you sure you're ready? Okay, open it. Look, there's no blood. And no body. It's another world, Booker. Another Columbia. Something tells me one dead gunsmith ain't the only thing that's changed.
you think cut him loose? What? Scarfield says cut him loose. They're bringing his tools to the lockup. Keep him clean, I guess. Why? What are you? I don't understand how Chen Lin is alive now. We're in a world where he was never murdered. Somewhere we'll find out why, I suppose. I don't suspect you can change something like that and have everything else remain the same.
that you are getting the short end of the stick. It, do you know what they're really saying? <laughs> they're saying, what is it about? What you do doesn't matter. Anything? Huh? No machines. No tools. Let's go find that gunsmith. Maybe he's upstairs now. Booker, look. The shrine. It's the figure of Comstock now. Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Excuse me, Chen Lin? Who are you? You speak up! Speak up! Can't hear you over all these machines! Very loud! I'm Booker DeWitt. Stand back! These machines very dangerous. Wait downstairs with Mrs. Lin. Uh, Daisy Fitzroy sent us. We need to talk to you about getting some weapons. Machines very dangerous. No place for stupid people. Want to lose pretty head? Mr. Lin... Downstairs! What is wrong with him? Remember him dead in that cell? Maybe in some way he remembers that too. How would you reconcile that? I don't know.
my husband? Calm his troubled thoughts. Ease his burden. Bring... Excuse me, ma'am. I'm looking for Mrs. Lin. I, Mrs. Lin? No, I, I mean a little Chinese lady. She was... Booker, this is Mrs. Lin. They took Chen's tools. What's he got without his tools? Well, your husband is a bit out of sorts. If he could work again, maybe... If, if he could work, he'd... Mrs. Lin, can you tell me who took your husband's tools? Goddamn police. They took them and locked them up in the impound in Shantytown. Would having his tools back fix his mind? Who cares? We're not getting any guns if Chen Lin doesn't have his tools. Let's head to Shantytown. Did you notice? Lin had a bloody nose. Seems to be in style. This Tara. I'm not so sure it was a good idea. mystery to me as anyone else. Maybe Songbird knows, but he's not talking. <laughs> I'm sorry. What for? I get to wear this stylish thimble to cover up my hideous deformity. Appreciate it.
You must think me some sort of freak. A girl who can bring dead men back to life. Whose only acquaintance is a, a giant bird creature. I must seem ridiculous. You just got dealt a bad hand. I am not going back to that tower no matter what happens. They won't stop until they have you. Why? What did I do to them? You frightened them. Good. This is what they want, brothers. To keep you so hungry, you can't speak but to me. To keep you so ignorant, you can't think of solutions to all your problems. To keep you These people are like this because of Fink. Maybe Daisy's right. Maybe she should pay him back for all of this. Not before she pays us. We're here for guns and then the airship. I'm hungry, Ben. I don't give a damn it. I don't understand. Why some people are treated like men. And others like animals. There's plenty of places down below where you'll find more of the same. Like that wounded knee.
Got it. Vengeance is back. Perfect timing. Elizabeth. I can do that. There.
Much obliged. We just have to get them back to the Vox, and then we get our airship. Elizabeth, a little help? Looks simple enough. All done. Who are we really helping by getting guns for the Vox Populi? It's gonna help us. Daisy can make a change, can't she? Make things better for the people here. Sure. Sure as hell aren't gonna be able to carry all this back to the shop. God, we didn't think this all the way through. version of this room that doesn't have any tools in it. Well, if the tools aren't in there, then... Then they must be back, back at the, the shop. shop. Booker, if we go into this Terra, I don't think there's any turning back. Are you sure you want to go now? Head back to the gunsmith and finish our deal. I aim to be on that airship and well shut of this place for long. Booker, if the Vox get their weapons, there's going to be a revolution just like Les Miserables. These people are gonna have better lives. Yeah. at the beginning of a fire. For the first flame, you see them possums and squirrels running through the trees. They know what's coming. But the fat bears with their bellies full of honey, well... Daisy's moved these people. Things can change, Booker, and we can be a part of it. I don't want to be a part of it. Once we get our airship, we'll be well shut of this place.
poster. In this world, you're a hero. I remember I let the Vox... Slate and I... Burned down the Hall of Heroes. We're going to find Daisy Fitzroy. I'm getting out of here on the first lady. Let's go. form of wish fulfillment. I got my wish. Brothers and sisters, I wish to speak plainly to you. When you look at yourself... <laughs> Go ahead. On it! 
don't get that door open unless someone takes that airship out. Are we volunteering? Sabotage the engine and bring this thing down. Get off this thing. find Daisy in the factory.
who's coming here for Fink. We need to take that elevator up. That at least to Fink's office. Just right for each other, aren't they? Who? It's Roy and Comstock. <laughs> May Lynn? Mr. Lynn? My God, I... I was so set on getting to Paris. I, I didn't really think that... You couldn't have known this would happen. I had a role in this catastrophe. If, if you want to pretend that we're purely innocents in this... Then that's your prerogative, but... Um, uh, hello? Fink? I saw you die, Booker. Saw it with my own eyes. Fitzroy. Listen, I got you your guns. I'm here for my airship. But my Booker DeWitt died for the Vox Populi. You either an imposter or a ghost. My Booker DeWitt was a hero to the cause, a story to tell your children. You, you just complicate the narrative.
Appreciate it. Daisy? This is what needs to be done. You see, the founders ain't nothing but weeds. Cut them down and they just grow back. If you want to get rid of the weed, you've got to pull it up from the root. It's the only way to be...
that's not it. Certainly is. Isn't. Is. Isn't. Is. Try again. All, All right. right. Here you are. Booker. <laughs> We've got to stop them. No, that's the E. No, that Booker, is hurry. it. No, it's not. It is. Isn't. Is. Is here. Is. is. Try again. No, you try. Fine. Stop it! Nope, that is not it. Fine. Stop it! You don't you know are. what you're doing! Ha! There it is. You've done it now. He's he's coming back. He's coming back. The notes were correct. The instrument was not. One needs both to get his attention. But if you know how to sing to him... He will take you where you need to go. Who are you? We are... Where we are needed. And needed where we are. So Comstock uses these songs. Are there others we can use? Something to keep the bird off our back? Perhaps you should ask the maestro himself. So where is he? <sighs> of course. Well, at least they left the piano. Booker. That's Comstock. If we're gonna find him, we should start there. The box are coming! We need to leave the dock! We need to push off immediately! The box are coming! 